Hey, hey guys, I uh, just wanted to come out here and uh, just for a few minutes uh, just be completely genuine with you. And, um, you know, over this last weekend, uh, actually Saturday the 21st, I got to uh, hang out in a room with uh, some incredible people, um, some people making a lot of money and leading a, a, a mass amount of uh, other individuals to make a lot of money as well course, if any claims I make, um, they are un uh, you know, unnatural, they are above average, and you can always check in uh, uh, the income disclaimer uh, at www.empowernetwork.com forward slash income dot php whenever you like to see daily average earnings. But uh, back to my story, um, Saturday uh, the 21st, I was in that team breakout room for Tony Rush actually, and uh, Tony... Uh, kind of spotted me out during speeches and kind of gave me a little wave. And afterwards, I stopped him and you know shook his hand and I you know I, I looked in his eyes and I told him, "Hey, I'm James Craig." And he uh, he looked back at me and he was like, "Oh yeah, you, you know you are and uh, you, you're you're James Craig. That's right. I remember." Um, and he said, "You know when Kevin saw you in." Uh, in uh, the restaurant, which uh, is actually going to be another story for another time, uh, he said, you know, the odds of that are astronomical, James. And it, I've been thinking a lot about that, astronomical. And and what odds are you placing uh, on yourself, honestly? I, uh, I didn't realize how big uh, that would impact me until... Uh, uh, recently, I uh, was walking through the park, and I was looking up at the sky, and you know, I looked up in this beautiful black sky with stars. I could actually see—you could actually see the stars. And all of a sudden, a stream of light fell through the sky. And uh, at the beginning of the tail, in the front of the tail, was a meteorite burning into our atmosphere. And I just thought, you know, that is astronomical. The odds of that falling above me at that very moment I looked up are absolutely astronomical. The, the sky is so large, you know. Who knows how long that meteorite or asteroid or what it, that rock was flo floating through space past planets, past the moon. How many times it circled the Earth itself, you know. How long did it take to get into our solar system? You know, which galaxy did it come from? How long did it spin? just swirling around, whizzing around in the sky above us just for that astronomical point to fall above my head. And it really struck a chord for me when Tony said that to me, the odds of that are astronomical. And it made me think of a practice that anybody can uh, implement into their world because I was one of those people that would... Uh, see a problem that I had and I'd make a mountain out of it. I would find ways for me never to be able to get around it, climb it, through it, oh, you know, ev you know, you know you've been there. <laughs> We've all been there, certainly. Um, and I just want to share a, an amazing exercise that can change your view of your problems to be such a rare odd that it is almost astronomical and it turns out it can be a good thing. So uh, go ahead and just sit back to wherever you are and uh, just take a moment with me. Um, I promise this will be quick, but it will be absolutely powerful. Okay, I'm assuming you're sitting back now. So um, just go ahead and close your eyes. Picture that problem that you have in front of you. Uh, whatever it is, you know, it could be the bills you have to pay. It could be um, you're, you haven't made a sale in your business yet. It could be um, you're looking for the love of your life. Whatever it is, just set it out in front of you. See it in your mind's eye as a mountain. Go ahead. Just look at it and see it as a mountain. Now, that mountain stretches uh, as far as the eye can see to your right, to your left, all the way up, all the way down. There's no way to look around this mountain. Now, as you're looking at this mountain, 
realize that it's not as big as you really you see it as. It really isn't as big as you think it is. Take a couple steps back from this mountain that you've made in front of you. Go ahead and take a couple steps back right now and recognize that it's just a football. Eh, have a football holding in your hands. Imagine a football just sitting there in your hands. And on that football, one of those ridges in that football, is your original mountain. And when you look down at the, that football on that ridge, do you see your mountain there? And if you can spot your mountain in that little tiny speck on that football, you'll realize that it was never as big as you really thought it was. Let's go ahead and take a couple more steps back from that. Now you're above, above the, the earth, looking down in the sky, through the sky. And as you look down, you see this pool. And in this pool, it's full of people. And, uh, you know, these people are just hanging around at this football. And on that football, there's this tiny little bump. This tiny little bump. That originally you saw as a mountain. Let's go ahead and step back a couple more. Now you're outside in space. You see the Earth, the beautiful blueberry, of what we call home. And on this Earth, on this Earth, there is this tiny little pool, just a speck on this Earth. And inside that pool, there's a bunch of people. And in the middle of all these people, there's this tiny little football. Where on this football that you're imagining, there is a tiny little bump. Now, it, you're probably thinking to yourself, from, from this point of view, it's kind of hard to think that that was ever a problem. You could never get, get over, or get around, or get, get through. How could you imagine such a giant mountain that is your problem? But we're not done yet, folks. Now, let's take a couple steps further. Let's, speak, let's make this become an astronomical point of view. So now we're just hovering above our solar system, this nice little spiral that's going on and on and on and on. And inside this solar system, there's a speck. And that speck is our Earth. Okay, now we zoom in, and that Earth has this little tiny pool on it. You know, the Earth is covered by about, I think, you know, 60 or 70 percent water. And you can imagine just the tiniest fraction on this Earth, which is a pool, where a bunch of people have gathered, hanging out and having fun. Maybe even playing with a tiny football. And that football, on that football, is your problem. And this tiny little ridge, just a tiny little ridge, probably have thousands of little ridges on that football. Now let's go ahead and step back just a little bit further. I love this exercise. This is where it gets really good. Now imagine that there's a solar system. Now step back a couple more. And then you have galaxy. Now a galaxy is actually contained of a billion solar systems. That's just a rough estimate, but it's darn near close. One billion solar systems. So we're just hovering above this galaxy where there's this tiny speck, which is our solar system. And in that speck, there's another smaller speck, which is our Earth. And on that Earth, there are people hanging out, playing in a pool. And in that pool, there's this football. And on that football is this problem that used to consume you that used to make you feel like you couldn't get past it. But now you realize what size that problem really is. So let's just step back a couple more because there are a lot of things we know about this universe and there are a lot of things we don't know. However, currently we do understand the size. So if you think a mountain is big, then you have to see how open and how big the universe really is. So we step outside of our galaxy a couple more. Then all of a sudden we're, we're, we're just above the universe and we see it scattered. It almost looks like a sea of stars. 
And we look down and we see this little speck, which is our galaxy, Milky Way galaxy. And inside this galaxy is a solar system that inhabits a life form. Little tiny blue planet with little green in it inhabits a life form. And on that planet, a tiny sand-like speck, is this pool where people are hanging out, having a good time, and inside that pool is a football with a tiny little lump on it that you once called your problem, but no more. Because you've learned the astronomical odds of your problem. Why does it have to be there then? If we wanted to step back even further, which we could, we could share. I could share with you uh, the new uh, reality uh, of multiple universes. And from that point of view, a problem of a mountain is never going to stop you again. Now, I hope this uh, exercise has been fun. Go ahead and play it out with your own uh, uh, with your own stuff, no matter what it is, anything you want, and realize what was holding you back is not something that should be holding you back. It's not something that can. It's something that you can just eliminate. You can see past, you can see through, you can see over. And my friends, um, I will share with you a lot more. I love this exercise so much because it helped me uh, recognize the stuff that I've I've. I've call it, turned into mountains that are really not even molehills. They're actually just a speck on a football in a universe that is completely open and willing to give you what you want as long as you ask for it and you focus, as long as you focus on it, act upon it, and recognize the results after acting on it. Uh, this is just, just thought I wanted to share this with you. Um, I thought it was amazing. David Wood actually um, shared this exercise with me not too long ago, and uh, it changed m my view of the world completely. So uh, I hope this helps you. Um, maybe listen to it a couple times, share it with some friends, and uh, you know I'll see you in the next video.